So far, so good. Everything is working correctly. We have missed a case here though. We're only checking if the number is odd. We have to write a test to have 100% coverage so we can check the even case as well. At the moment, we're only testing half of the application. Let's go ahead and improve this. I'm going to change this test to be a describe block and this is going to group all of our tests together. Let's go ahead and write an int block and say what we're describing here. So in this case, the first condition is the case of the count being odd. So I'm going to say it renders count when odd. And that's going to explain exactly what this test is doing. Now that we've done that, we're going to add the opposite case, which is going to be even. So I'm going to copy that one, put it here and just change this to be even. Let's go ahead now and update the props to be a different number. In this case, it's going to be two. If I save this one off, I'm expecting it to fail because my assertion is incorrect and it is failing after all. Let's go ahead and update that. I'm going to make the count two and change this to be even and that's going to get everything passing. Definitely a good place to be. There is a smaller factor we can make and I'm going to show you how to do that now. What we're going to do is reduce some of the duplication. You can see we have the same thing here and down here. We're going to make this a little bit more concise. So what I'm going to do is create a new function and I'm going to call this one factory. And this is going to create a new component for us to mount. It's going to take an argument of props, which is what we're going to pass to our wrapper. And now we're going to go ahead and copy all this content up here. And this is going to make our test a little bit more concise. I'm just going to return the result of this and we're going to remove this props here and just pass in the props like this. Let's go ahead now and use our new function. I'm going to say const wrapper is equal to factory. And when I call this, all it's going to do is return my mounting, my mount function, and it's going to pass in the props that I pass to the function. In this case, we're going to pass in our count of two, and that's going to make everything pass. If I save this one off, everything is still passing, but our test is a whole lot more concise. Let's go ahead and update the odd count as well. So what I'm going to do is just copy this over and paste it down here, and we're going to change count to be one. And if we save this off, everything is now going to pass. You don't necessarily need to do this, but I like to do this. It makes my test more concise. And especially when you have a very complex component, you probably don't want to write the same thing over and over again. So what I've done is created a single function to abstract away the duplication. Now, if we add any new features, we can just copy and paste this test and it's going to save us a whole lot of time.